Hey guys, welcome back. So today I want to talk to you about cases. Now I've recently started moving around and traveling around quite a bit with the Tavor rifle bullpup, which is much shorter than other rifles that I have typically traveled with, like my AK-74. So I needed to buy some new stuff cases for that rifle that fit it better. I started off with a soft case, which is made by Eagle that you see here. I'll show you a little bit more about this here in a second. But when you're traveling long distances, or especially when you're traveling by airline, it's kind of nice, at least in my case, I prefer to have a hard case, which is why I purchased this Pelican recently. Now, soft cases are typically fairly affordable. You can pick up a case like this for right around 80, 90 bucks. A hard case such as this, I picked up at Gander Mountain for $230. <clears throat> so the hard case is definitely more expensive, but it offers far more protection for your firearm. Now, when I'm traveling around, just going to the range, making local trips, stuff like that, and I'm just carrying a rifle and some uh, ammunition, maybe some targets, the soft case works great. Offers great protection for the rifle. It's light, it's handy, it's easy to use. But when you travel by airline, they're not going to let you check a bag, a soft bag. You wouldn't want them to because they rough handle that luggage, but they wouldn't let you check your rifle in, with the soft bag. <clears throat> so you're going to need something like this Pelican. Now also when I go on long car trips, I like to have a hard case as well. When I have a bunch of stuff in the back of the car that might be moving around, I want a little bit more protection for my rifles because obviously the rifles and, and the equipment on them are very expensive. You know, my Tavor that I carry around quite a bit, the rifle itself is a couple thousand dollars. The Elkan optic that's on it is another couple thousand dollars. It adds up very quickly. One rifle, four thousand bucks or more, that's a lot of money, so you want to protect it. So the, the soft case that I have here, I'll just show you this case really quickly before I move over to the Pelican because that's what I really want to talk about this afternoon. Now here inside you can see this Eagle case allows me to hang my rifle off some PALS webbing inside here. It has Velcro straps that hold it in place. So it holds it securely. This rifle doesn't move around. It offers pretty good protection. Also on the other side, it has another pouch here which has half zippers on it. And inside here, have some magazine pouches, things like that, some more PALS webbing. I can put pouches on here. I have the IWI cleaning kit, a Hazard 4 pouch over here. So overall, this is a very handy range bag that I use quite a bit. But I have some travel coming up later this month and at the end of next month that will require me to travel by airline, and that means I need a hard case. And for that, I've purchased this Pelican. Now again, I spent about $230 on this, but the Pelicans are pretty much the de facto standard when it comes to high quality rifle cases. Now these things can be locked up. This particular case has four locking points, meaning I can put four padlocks on this. The airlines do have very strict requirements regarding the cases that you use to transport firearms on their airlines and the cargo holds of their aircraft. And the Pelicans meet those requirements. All airlines have different requirements. United, that I travel quite frequently, prefers that the case be hard. It has to be padlockable. And if you undo the latches with the padlock in place, they can't pull one corner up and touch the firearm. I've actually had to take a gun back to my car because it didn't pass that test. So the Pelicans will pass pretty much all airline requirements and all tests. Now inside this Pelican case, I have a solid piece of foam. You can cut this foam to custom hold your firearm and accessories. Now some cases have pre-cut foam pieces that are just a bunch of square foam pieces that are loosely held together. You can pluck them out in the rough shape of your firearm or accessories, but they don't really hold your stuff securely. I, I prefer the foam like this, which is a solid piece that you can cut yourself, and that's what I want to show you guys how to do. I'm going to cut this foam for my Tavor and a couple of accessories and get it ready for my travel at the end of this month and next month. So let's take a look at how that's done. The first thing you'll want to do is lay out your gear on top of the foam. Once you have everything where you want it, use a sharpie to trace an outline around the gun and accessories. It doesn't have to be exact, try to be as detailed as possible though. I like to slightly angle the tip of the pin inwards as I trace around the object, which makes for a slightly tighter fit. Keep in mind you may want to reverse the layout so when you're done you can flip the foam over to hide the sharpie lines. Once you have the outlines traced you'll want to use either a very sharp knife such as an X-Acto knife or as I prefer an electric knife. These can be purchased from Amazon.com for as little as $20 and they make the cutting much easier. Now comes the fun part and the hard part. It will take a steady hand to do this but you should pick it up pretty easily, at least I did. I start the electric knife by pressing the tip into the foam then rolling the blade into the cut. The knife will zip right through the foam and it will be very easy to make a mistake. Go slowly, take your time, and you should do just fine.
Don't try and cut out the entire gun in one continuous cut. That just invites problems. I make cuts in easily manageable sections. Stop frequently and check your work. The one thing I always struggle with is trying to keep the knife at a perfect 90 degree angle to the foam. I found that if you cut just inside the lines, this not only gives you a little tighter fit when you're done, but it also gives you some breathing room to correct for some mistakes. Once you have all the cuts made, try the foam in your case. Set the foam and the accessories in the case to check the fit. You can make adjustments if needed. Keep in mind that the fit doesn't have to be perfect. If the sharpie lines bug you, flip the foam over and like magic, they'll be gone. And that's it. My Pelican case is finished. My Tavor has a nice new home and it's ready for travel. If you guys have any questions about anything you've seen here this afternoon in this video, you can ask those questions on our Facebook page. You can find us on Facebook at www.facebook.com forward slash military arms. I also invite you to swing by and check out our blog, The Bang Switch. I'll put a link in the description below. Thanks everybody. Talk to you soon.